Javier Alejandro Mastrano is an Argentine professional footballer who plays as a defensive midfielder or centre-back for Spanish club FC Barcelona and the Argentina national team. Nicknamed El Jefecito, the Little Chief, Mastrano is a versatile and tactically intelligent footballer, with an excellent ability to read the game and organise his team. He is known in particular for his leadership skills, passing accuracy, tough marking of opponents, and hard tackling style of play. Mastrano began his career at River Plate, where he earned his first senior honors, the Primera Division Argentina. In 2003-04, he moved to Brazilian side Corinthians in 2005, winning the Brazilian Serie A in his first season. Mastrano then moved to Europe, signing for Premier League side West Ham United, but his brief time at the club was blighted by unusual contract terms with global soccer agencies. At the beginning of 2007, he joined Liverpool on loan, reaching the final of the UEFA Champions League, before he signed with the club for 18, 7 million. After three years playing for Liverpool, Mastrano joined Barcelona in 2010, where he changed his position of defensive midfielder to full central defender. With Barcelona he has won four La Liga championships, two UEFA Champions League titles, and two FIFA Club World Cups. Among other honors, Mastrano has made over 100 appearances for the Argentina national football team making him the second most capped player in the country's history, after Javier Zanetti. Since his debut in 2003, he has represented the nation at five Copa America tournaments, finishing runner-up in 2004, 2007, 2015, and 2016, and three FIFA World Cups, reaching the 2014 final. He twice won a gold medal at the Summer Olympics, in 2004 and 2008, becoming the first male footballer to achieve this double feat since 1968. Between 2008 and 2011, Mastrano served as the captain of our Argentina. Club career River Plate Born in San Lorenzo, Santa Fe, Mastrano came through the youth ranks at River Plate in Buenos Aires, Argentina. However, before making his club debut he made his name representing Argentina. Mastrano won his first silverware when River won the 2003-04 Klaus Ora Championship. In the 2004 Copa Libertadores River reached the semi-final, but lost on penalties to arch-rivals Boca Juniors. Around this time several clubs including Real Madrid, and Deportivo de la Coruna declared an interest in signing Mastrano, but River Plate turned down all offers, saying that none of the interested parties were prepared to pay enough. 2004-05 was not a successful season for River, finishing third in the Apertura Championship and only tenth in the Clausura. In the Copa Libertadores River again lost in the semi-final, this time to Sao Paulo. After the Confederations Cup in Germany, Brazilian club Corinthians acquired Mastrano from River Plate for $15 million. Corinthians The Brazilian Serie A runs from April, so Mastrano joined Corinthians in mid-season, after playing only nine games for his new club. In September 2005, Mastrano suffered a stress fracture to his left foot causing him to miss the end of the season. He went back to Argentina to be operated on by the national team doctor and recuperate. However, Corinthians still claimed the 2005 Serie A championship with the team captained by Mastrano's Argentine compatriot, Carlos Tevez. In total, Mastrano was out of action for six months only returning on 5 March 2006. Corinthians were forced to start their 2006 Copa Libertadores without Mastrano, but he returned in time for the round of 16 tie against River Plate, which Corinthians lost. The 2006 Brazilian Serie A also went badly for Corinthians, 
and at one stage they were battling against relegation. In June, the league season was interrupted for the 2006 World Cup. Although his performance drew the attention of European clubs, he stated his desire to remain with Corinthians, to help with the relegation battle, and postponed any transfer until January at the earliest. Westham During the summer of 2006 Mastrano was linked with top clubs around Europe. He stated he would relish playing in Spain for Real Madrid or FC Barcelona but eventually he signed for West Ham United in the Premier League. Mastrano holds an Italian passport due to his ancestry. Before Mastrano joined, West Ham had won one game, drawn one and lost one. However upon his arrival the team went into free fall, losing eight games and drawing one game in all competitions before their next win on 29 October. During this time, Mastrano rarely featured in the team, despite their struggles, prompting rumors about financial clauses related to the amount of time he actually played. In October, the Argentina national coach, Alfio Basel, declared that he hoped Mastrano would leave West Ham as soon as possible, and I hope for God's sake that Mastrano can go to Juventus. Quote. On 16 January 2007, Liverpool requested clearance from FIFA to take Mastrano on loan from West Ham. FIFA's rules state that no player can play for more than two different clubs between 1 July and 30 June the following year as Mastrano had already played for both Corinthians and West Ham during this time. FIFA approved the deal on 31 January 2007. In a further development, it was announced, on 2 March that the Premier League were charging West Ham with breaking Rule B13, concerning acting in good faith, and Rule U18, which concerns the influence of third-party ownership. Liverpool On 10 February 2007, Liverpool added Mastrano to their Champions League squad and gave him the number 20 shirt. Eventually, on 20 February 2007, Mastrano's move to Liverpool became official after the Premier League accepted Liverpool's request to register the player at Anfield. Mastrano made his debut for Liverpool against Sheffield United on 24 February 2007. Following months of speculation, Mastrano signed a four-year permanent contract with Liverpool on 29 February 2008, ending his association with media sports investments. On 29 November 2009, Mastrano claimed the first goal in the 2-0 win against Everton at Goodison Park when his 30-yard shot appeared to be heading just off target before it took a wicked deflection off Joseph Yobo before finding the net. The goal officially went down as an own goal. Mastrano was held in high esteem by the Liverpool fans, who gave him his own song, to the tune of the White Stripe as Seven Nation Army. Liverpool announced on 27 August that they had agreed a transfer fee, 17, 25 metres with Barcelona for the player and had given permission to him to speak with the Spanish club. 2008 Old Trafford Incident In his first game at Old Trafford against Manchester United on 23 March 2008, he was sent off after collecting two yellow cards. With the controversial incident behind him, Mastrano would play a role in Liverpool's 2-1 win over the then European Cup holders and future World Club champions. United at Anfield on 13 September 2008, Although he was at fault for failing to cover countryman Carlos Tevez, who scored for United less than three minutes into the game, Mastrano made amends for his mistake, and was instrumental in creating the goal which put Liverpool 2-1 up. Mastrano was voted man of the match by the fans on Liverpool's official website. Barcelona On 28 August 2010 he agreed terms on a four-year deal contract with FC Barcelona for 24 million. 
he made his league debut on the 11th of September 2010. Starting in a home 0-2 defeat against recently promoted Hercules CF, marking the first defeat at the Camp Nou for 16 months. Mastrano had a mixed season at the Camp Nou, spending the first half of the season mainly coming off the bench but for the latter part playing out of position in a centre-back role. On 28 May 2011, Mastrano started alongside Gerard Piquet in the 2011 UEFA Champions League final against Manchester United. Barcelona went on to win the game 3-1, with Mastrano dedicating the win to Liverpool fans, some of which he had upset during his move in the run to the final. Mastrano denied Arsenal's Nicolas Bentner a certain goal with a sliding tackle towards the end of the second leg of the round of 16 game, which the Catalan side beat the Gunners 3-1, 4-3 on aggregate. In his second season, Mastrano played almost exclusively as a central defender, putting in consistent performances starting regularly for the team in defence. On 26 July 2012, Mastrano signed a contract extension with Barcelona, keeping him with the Catalan Giants until 2016. His buyout clause was set at 100 million. On 6 June 2015, Mastrano started for Barca in the 2015 UEFA Champions League final, as the club won its fifth European Cup by beating Juventus at Berlin's Olympia Stadion. On 27 July 2016, Mastrano signed a new contract with Barcelona, which will keep him at the club until 2019. International Career Mastrano's first international appearance came in 2001. September of that year saw him play on the Argentina team that finished fourth in the 2001 FIFA U-17 World Championship. His impact at youth levels was such that he made his senior international debut before playing a single minute for River Plate's first team, due to his central midfield position at club level being occupied by River, as long-standing captain Leonardo Estrada, nicknamed the Chief. That international debut came in a friendly against Uruguay on 16 July 2003. Halfway through the 2003, 04 Apertura Championship, Mastrano was called up to play in the 2003 FIFA World Youth Championship. Argentina again finished fourth with Mastrano the team's outstanding player. He was however suspended for the third place playoff. In January 2004, he joined up with Argentina's under-23 team for the South American Pre-Olimpico tournament in Chile. Argentina won the tournament, thereby qualifying for the 2004 Summer Olympics. In August, Mastrano and the team went on to become gold medal winners in Greece. At the end of the 2003-04 season, Mastrano was included in the Argentina senior squad for the 2004 Copa America. Argentina lost to Brazil on penalties in the final but Mastrano impressed enough to be voted Argentina's player of the tournament by his teammates. In the 2006 FIFA World Cup, he played every minute of every game for Argentina, with the team being knocked out by Germany in the quarterfinals. His first two goals for the senior Argentina team came in July 2007 during the 2007 Copa America. Mastrano's performance at the tournament was such that he was widely selected as the best Argentine player in a squad full of stars. On 8 June 2008, Mastrano received his first red card for the national team after receiving two yellow cards in a match against the United States. He was sent off in the 86th minute of the match, which went on to end 0-0. Later that year, Mastrano was selected to represent Argentina in the Olympic Games in Beijing as one of their over 23-year-old players. He was thrilled at the call-up saying, It's important for any athlete to defend the gold medal. I might be the only person from my country ever to do it and I'll go down in history. Quote. 
Soon after being appointed head coach of Argentina in November 2008, Diego Maradona announced that he wanted Mastrano to be the team's captain. I want Mastrano to be my captain, because I believe he is the Argentinian player who is closest to the idea I have about the Argentinian shirt. Question mark. Sweat for it. Sacrifice for it. Being a professional. Being close to the teammate. He said, I will convince him. He will be my captain. Quote. Mastrano was appointed the new Argentina captain on 10 November, replacing Javier Zanetti. He only missed the last match of the group stage against Greece. Mastrano captained Argentina during the 2011 Copa America on home soil, but the team were defeated by Uruguay at the quarterfinal stage. In the 2014 FIFA World Cup, Mastrano played his 100th international match for Argentina in a match against Iran, which I all be Celeste 1-1-0. On the 11th of July, Mastrano was named on the 10-man shortlist for FIFA's Golden Ball Award for the tournament's best player. Career Statistics Club National Team International Goals Honors Club International Individual Personal Life In October 2015, Mastrano admitted two counts of fraud totaling just over 1. 5 million having failed to declare 1. 5 million in earnings in 2011 and 2012